Welcome to the 51st Hereford Reunion Group Volunteers Monthly Meetings. Soon after the introduction of the COVID-19 restrictions, it became obvious that our July 2020 reunion would have to be cancelled. Trevor Rosario was involved in one or two Zoom projects and had a Zoom account and suggested that the 51st Reunion Group could hold a Zoom reunion. We, 51st, are fairly foggy-ish by nature, and not everyone has wanted, well, yet at least, to take that technological leap into the future. Set against that, however, there are now several 51sters who have not attended physical reunions, but have joined into Zoom meetings. Reunion group admin Zooms are now held on the 15th of each month attended by the half a dozen or so volunteers who organise Hereford in July and other things for the group around the year. There is then a periodic reunion Zoom where we try and encourage as many people as possible to come on in and have a chat with each other. There is now a short video showing the very easy path to joining in for those who are ready to give it a go. It is drop-dead simple, with nothing to pre-organise, just a couple of clicks to make. I have tried to record these Zoom meetings, but failed to understand how to set up the sound so that all of the participants would be heard at the correct volume level, with the result that my microphone is cor correctly set, but not those of the others. So I'm sorry about that. However, I have worked it out, and it has been corrected since the 25th of May 2021. Before then, you really hear a lot of me, because my microphone is working correctly, some of those people who are quite loud, and next to nothing of those with soft voices. This video is regrettably one of the pre-25th of May 2021 archive, and so it's a nearly silent movie, other than for my voice. Sorry about that. It's the question of, do we try to do funerals or not? And it becomes then a bit more difficult if we do them for a number of people and then run out of money and stop doing them from anybody else. So we have to put this to the group. There has never been, as one of you said, any issue, whatever, about raising money. If we say such and such has died, wham, we get, you know, 50 people wanting to toss money in the pot or a large number, not necessarily 50, but representing 50 people. Um, if we ask people to put their money, their hands in their pockets at the reunion, they do it. If we say to people, well, we're having a reunion, we want to buy some raffle tickets, uh, sorry, some raffle prizes, would people like to contribute? They do it. <clears throat> so... Um, I don't think there's any need for us to have any financial structure as such, because folks like David Kernahan, who would love to be here, but has been a busy bunny, may not be quite so busy now, he's uh, sold his business, but you know he, he just felt so guilty, he would always toss in 100 quid. And um, other folks who just don't have money uh, you know, coming out of their ears can only really toss in a tenner if that. So we get on, we get by fine, but if we're going to have um, as part of a, a discussion at the next reunion, which I do actually believe will be in July, despite the issues of uh, uh, Corona, um, then I think we should have a conversation about it. Maybe we should have a conversation about it beforehand. Um, maybe uh, I have a video clip of what uh, Ray very eloquently said, and we could play that to people and say, at the next reunion, come armed with, or tell us beforehand, where you want to go from here. Uh, we've always kept enough money, we always, the target was a thousand, we always kept enough money to be able to afford three funerals because at any one time that's how many we could be doing in, in any year really. And, um, uh, but that would, that's a year to year thing and the, and the group is shrinking. So the, the, the $40,000 question, forgive me for the time this is taking, is do we try and set up a sinking fund so that somebody, everybody can have something um, for their family when each of us goes? And that question isn't really yours to answer or my to answer. It's, it's I suppose, the, the group as a whole to answer. Well, that, that, that brings me on to um, my next uh, um, uh, item on the agenda, and that is that question of subscriptions versus donations. Now, when, when Ray Ward spoke the other evening, um, 
people talking about, um, you know, asking everybody for a subscription. And the point I was trying to make is, I, I you know, a subscription is it, paying uh, for membership or something. And yeah. the only point I was trying to make was, we're not that. We're just a bunch of... No, you made it very clearly, and Ray backed you up. No. And what I was saying is, why can't we leave it that, you know, it's like you were saying, like we were all saying, if people want to make an annual uh, standing order, they may do so. Yeah. Uh, we, or, you know, we just leave it that people, like you said, donate at, at our annual reunion and the raffle tickets and, 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 and all that. The, the only marker I would personally put on that is if people um, did donate regularly, but it made anonymously because there are those who can't do it, and that's a big embarrassment. That's right. Absolutely, and, and that was the only point I was trying to make. So, what I would like, I, I honestly don't think, and you know, I, you know, let's talk about it if you want to. I don't think we have to go back to the membership on this one. I think you, you Simon, can just go out on the on the new ship and just say, if you would like to uh, uh, donate on a regular basis, these are the bank details. If you don't, that's fine. We'll see you at the reunion and, you know, hopefully then... Okay. ...and leave it at that. Yep. The other point I was trying to make was... We can only do what we can. Yes. And I take your point about setting that precedence uh, for if we do it for one, we have to do it for the other. Um, uh, and I'm quite sure if we haven't got the money in our bank account, one for one would chip in, and, and I'm sure we all would. And okay. I, I, just, I, I just think we should leave it as informal as that. I don't okay. know what the rest think. That's me said. Yeah, I agree with that, Terry. I think, as Simon said, that any time we need funds, we'll pass it around and we'll get the funds. And uh, it's, it would be good to hear comments from all of us about this. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. I'm, I'm, I'm totally supportive of that sort of approach, right? Um, I don't mind putting my hand in my pocket, right? Um, so what I don't want to do... I don't mind putting my hand in your pocket either! Thank you, Simon. <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't mind with my hand in my pocket, right? and I have to get else in the park. But uh, the, the thing is that I don't want to be in a position where I have to go to somebody and say, we need money. Yeah. I would much rather have a job on a voluntary basis. Yeah. But what I was saying about when I actually mentioned standing orders, somebody had said direct debits. Right? And, I know. And we all know that direct debits are a bloody night because you have to administer them. Yeah. Right? But if yeah. people have standing orders, you don't. <coughs> that is my only comment on that. If somebody wants to pay by cheque, by cash, by standing order, you know, by... Yeah, absolutely. Else, Transfer, yeah. My, my, comment, my comments on this are, how many actual members are we going to actually um, be involved with in terms of if they pass on? Well, that's a really good question. Because we... I've spent what about we probably have a thousand, we probably spent about six, seven hundred on how many funerals, Simon? Uh, there has been there have been four funerals where Des is only half done. Um, Ron, Terry, Mo, and Des, and there are about another four. Uh, uh, we, so let's just break it into two parts. Um, we do the rosettes. I think we will do the rosettes for everybody because they're like twenty quid or thirty quid or something, and there are. Um, there are a hundred of us, so if everybody had a rosette at the end of the day, there would be three grand, and we don't, you know, that's not going to be what's going to happen. As regards the, uh, the people who are touching us and who we touch, well, they go from um, they go from folks like Paddy Anderson, who we know he exists and we know he's there. Um, I, I don't really like saying this, but if we had learned that Paddy Anderson had died last week, would, would he want to do? anything at all. Well, we'd probably certainly want to send a rosette to his family, whether we do a wreath or not, starts to become the question. My, I would be on the yes side, others would be on the no side, because we, there are at least 40 people with whom we are physically in touch. 
from the likes of Blair Pedden, who we've never seen, but we know he's involved and we've, you know, interconnected with him, through to uh, the guy sitting around this table. So uh, how many funerals might there be? Well, where we would want to pay for a wreath. The wreath costs what, Ray? 150, 200? No, no. I paid 80. Pounds. Oh, 80. Yeah. I yeah. paid 80 quid for Rons. Yeah. If you remember, actually, yeah. Rons was too big. Yes. But unfortunately, it overshadowed some of the families. Yes, and that wasn't good, isn't it? It is. It, it really is. And you think, oh, gee whiz. Yeah. It's massive because we hadn't done one before. And I said to the florist, she said, well, how much do you want to spend? I said, well, What's the cost? And she was going to say, oh, it's 20 inches, 30 inches. Yeah. 30. I haven't got a clue. So I said, oh, we'll do one 30, 40, whatever it was. Oh, she said, that's 80 quid. I said, that seemed fair. Um, but it was massive. I don't know who was there. Were you there, Graham? Yes, I was. Yeah. 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 Was it? it was really big. But it was. It was the size of the field. It was bigger than rock. Yeah. Um, bigger than, than rock. Yeah. But this is a bit digressing in a way. How much was Moe's? It was about the same, wasn't it? I don't think you get much differentiation. And, and so the figure per funeral is actually something like 110, not 200. Um, uh, now that Ron, uh, now that uh, Ray has reminded me of that. So, you know, it might cost us five grand to do it for everybody. And there is the potential, if people want to do it, for us to raise that five grand, stick it in an account with Graham, and then know that we don't have to ask any money for funerals. But we can't even answer this. It's whether people... Fancy that, but anyway, carry on, Terry. No, I, 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 I um, sorry, Graham. Um, I, no. um, I, I still maintain we do what we can, and if we have the money, we do it. Um, and yeah, but we can only do what we can do. Right? Yeah. And, and if we've got that money, yeah, um, let, let's let's. Well, we don't. We actually raise it more. It flows in more easily than we spend it because the raffle raises, um, you know, 50, 60, 80 quid. The uh, people toss into the pot a couple of hundred. Um, others who don't come toss in money. And uh, we. It, it generally has been the case that we raise more than we need. So I think we would, even without trying, be able to have a thousand in the account all the time for quite a foreseeable time yet, which is like 10 funerals. Just to go back to the membership, because this is all linked into it, that was my initial thought. So if you say to everybody, right, there's a membership fee, and there's 50 members, 25 that actually attend the reunions, yeah. and 25 that don't, and, and, uh, and then you only get 25 actually paid, what do you do with the other 25 that yeah. don't attend, but are in communication? Yeah. yeah. We just say then they don't pay a membership fee, therefore they don't have a, a wreath or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Right. Can you do free and cheap? It gets quite difficult, doesn't it? And the point I made is we're not about that, lads. We're about us. You know? Exactly. And, 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 and regardless of whether guys can afford it or not, in my view, we go forward as one. And I know yeah. That's yeah. Really, really, really yeah. Um, you see this, Dad? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, go on then. Just for a minute, we actually, the last reunion with the raffle was two and a hundred and fifteen pounds. Yeah. And we had, we had the bottle which was raffled on behalf of uh, Joel. Terry. Terry, Terry. Yeah. Yeah. That was 40 quid, right? So we, and, and all, when the money came in from the guys, we took in 397 pounds. There you go. Oh, and by the way, we've forgotten one. When you say, Des has died, you then get another bloody 250 subscribed. So, now that, that, well, that will change as time goes by. <clears throat> so, every time anybody's died, Mo does, as it happens, a lot of people said, I'll give it to you at the reunion, and there wasn't a reunion. So, with Des and Mo, it didn't actually quite work out as smoothly as it should. But with Ron and Terry, on each occasion, we took 260 quid ish, thereabouts, just on people saying, Oh, I want to chip in. Yeah. See, so. see, this year, my thoughts were, Okay, we've missed a year. So if people want to, you know, if, if we all throw in 20 quid in the normal, yep. Uh, yep. if somebody wants to double that because we missed that year, I say entirely, entirely there. We'll certainly throw the 40 quid in and say I missed last year. Yeah. Okay, it goes into the fund, you know, yeah. speculate with the, with the raffle a bit more. Um, yeah. So the how, sky's the limit. But the thing is, how do you say who's in a real? How do you say what? Sorry, Trevor. Say it again. 
who who do you mean? Sorry, Ray. Who do you mean by we all? You mean everybody on I'm, the? I'm, no, I meant people who attend the reunion, Trevor, because you wouldn't oh, okay. normally go out, would you? Yes, that, 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 that's. And I don't think, uh, Graham, that we have to go cap in hand or anything. Because even if someone paid off initially on their own money, then we look for reimbursing them. Uh, I think that could always arise. You know, that someone well, said, did, oh, did, I didn't know that. Well, it yeah. did well actually. Uh, it did actually with Ray because Ray had actually spent money on the lease, etc. Yeah. You know, yeah. Having the money. Yeah. And then I actually repaid that money to Ray. You yeah. haven't yeah. sent me the bloody invoice yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the bloody invoice. I think I, all I could give you was a copy of the um, of my, of my oh. credit card. Yeah. Statement. I'll make you one out, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, in pursuance of your point, when we say to people, okay, the union uh, is going to be on the such and such of July, there are always people who say, I can't make it, I'm sorry, I'm in hospital or whatever, and then they say, but I'll contribute. So at the moment, there is absolutely ne never an issue. It's not only the people who attend that contribute. Um, lots of other people who don't attend still toss in the fiver or the tenner, uh, by, or tenner, sorry, tenner or 20. So it, money flows. It's only going to get tight when, when we're down to ten of us. So, so, so can we leave it, guys, that um, yeah. so we're not, and I'll send out a little resume of what we've talked about tonight and what we are going to talk about. Um, I say what we've decided tonight, and then Simon, uh, you can go out with the missive to all members yeah. saying this is what's going to happen. If yeah. you'd like to donate, that's great. If you'd like to make out a standing order, that's great. We'll send you the bank details when we can. Yep. If not, uh, then, you know, uh, <coughs> whatever, well, just leave it at that. Just leave yeah. it at that. And then those at the reunion yeah. will know that they can give money or not. Yeah. yeah. That's been one of the problems, Terry, because one or two people have actually emailed, and Simon's given me copies of the emails. People have said, I wasn't there, I want to contribute. What's the bank detail? Yeah. I didn't have one. Yeah. Brilliant. So, but that's, that, that problem will be over in the next 10 days or so. And so from that point on, we're in good shape, and uh, um, people can say those things, and Graham can do something about them. Yeah, the sooner we do that, the better, yeah. Ray? Ray. Yeah. Finally, final note on that is that if, for instance, you know, we weren't getting money in, and I'd gone and paid for a week, Graham, I, I wouldn't really charge you back to you. I'd have just paid the second yeah. week and played the same stuff. Yeah, we, uh, we, that's we, my we, contribution. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. dear yeah, old look, Terry was such a good lad. In fact, I'll double the bloody ring. <laughs> I'll give him two. Stereo. All right, okay, that's that one. Thank you very much, guys. The next one is, um, again, the audio was awful the other night, and that was nobody's fault. It was just that, uh, just uh, that, that, that was, that's what happened. Um, we were talking uh, generally about uh, inv inviting uh, Glyn Seary, Frank's son, to the reunion. And my again, my view is that, yeah, we invite him to the formal dinner on the third day, uh, and that will cost us... 75 quid for one night's accommodation. I, I, that, that's my view. Uh, what do you all say? Okay, when it comes... Oh, I'll let everybody else speak first, actually. Okay. Ray, carry on. I no, don't mind I'm supporting sorry. that. We don't know how we'll support that. And then yes, we'll just right. say, that's how much we spent on it. If anybody wants to reimburse, reimburse to whatever. I'm quite happy to pay for it. Yeah, okay, me that. too. So you so see, that's, that's the really no problem with that. Uh, so, so Trevor, and nobody else has spoken yet, but before I forget, would, would you be in contact and invite him? Yes. Uh, I'll arrange, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Anybody uh, else? Anybody else want to speak or anybody else that should come into this uh, conversation? Um, there is Terry's widow, Jo, um, who comes to funerals and and, and participates with us as much as she can. I, whether we should, uh, whether we should, sorry about that, my phone's making a noise, I don't know how to shut it off. Um, all right, I'll put it on.
I'll put it on silent. Whether we whether we should invite her is a, is another question. It's a bit like Frank in a way, uh, but I don't know. It's a, it, it, yes, when I say I don't know, I do know that quite a lot of people would like to see her, particularly all of the ladies. So she's another name that's in the hat, and it surely has to be on the lines that we, with, we have to somehow do it without telling her or without telling Frank. Um, we want to invite these people. Would anybody like to sponsor them and see if see what happens before we actually say if you want to come? Or we can just say, for Christ's sake, it's 75 quid, 80 quid, 100 quid by the time we bought them a pint. We've got that money in the bank. Then let's just make a corporate decision, um, a forensic decision here. We will invite Frank. But doesn't he have, he has to come with his son or daughter for one night, doesn't he? No, no. I think, I think Trevor's idea was that we don't invite Frank because he's so bad now. Am I right, Trevor? Yes, that's right. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear that. I, I thought you were going... Yeah, because he's really, even if he does turn up in the inquiry, and, and um, I'm sure, but speaking to Glenn, his son, he's very, very able, and he said, you know, just let me know, and I will drive that down, and I will look after him. Yeah. So there, there is a possibility that he might do, you know, just that, depending on Frank's sort of physical capability. Yeah, and that might just be for an hour or two. Yeah. Or a night. So if you're ready to do that, then we come down. And as I said, that's a good idea about like who is sponsoring it. So it's say by sponsor that. And then you all note, you know, just as an example that, oh, Trevor did that. And uh, maybe some reimbursement might be adequate. And then we respond to that. So yep. this could be the kind of like uh, precedent for any other situation. You know, like say, Graham or Ray sponsor somebody, and then we just keep an eye and say, right, you pay for that. You need some kind of reimbursement. And then we do it like, like that. Anybody else? Well, I, when after that last meeting, I did come back with a, a, an email to everyone saying, you know, the reasons why I didn't want to move forward with a, a membership. And I just gave that example where um, Simon and Des Jones had paid for one of the lads who was on hard times. And I think that's the way it would probably work. I think that, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want that money back. Um, we wouldn't have done it if we wanted the money back. <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't think it was fair, Simon, for you and Des to do it. I was more than happy to chip I know you were, but then we were more than happy. If you can afford it, you can afford it. And, and it's not worth arguing about. There's other things you can, you participate in other ways. So. Precisely, and also, if we'd have extended that, it would have got embarrassing for the guy. Ah, oh, and it would have been leaked out, and it gets too complicated. If two people, you know, well, I think it would, oh, God, that's what it was, a couple hundred quid at the very most. Um, uh, so it, it's just going to flow. It'll, it'll either work or it won't. So what do we do about the fact that there are people who would like to invite Joe, and there are people, there are other group of people. I've forgotten his name, sadly, because I can't remember mine most mornings. There's a chap, who, there's a gentleman who used to be one of our instructors, who has, is now in the group, he's been welcomed in. I've forgotten his name, he's actually met up a couple of times. Um, does anyone know who I'm talking about? One of our instructors, Simon. Yeah. Hmm. He'd be dead, wouldn't he? No, no, apparently he's not, he's about 80. Uh, Ray, do you know who I'm talking about? Somebody yeah, must do. Was he, was, he, uh, was he a serving member when he was... Uh, yeah, 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 he was corporal somebody or other, I think. Um, well, it wasn't Jim Shelley. Yep. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't Jim Shelley. No, no sorry. I recognise that name and made me say yes. Oh, uh, I think John Collins was the person that met him. Anyway, there he is, large as life. Um, he, if you look down, I know that you're not on Facebook, Terry, but if anybody who is looks down the names of the people that are, the 64 or so names of the people in Facebook, there are now several they don't recognise, but they're mainly da daughters um, and sons and daughters of uh, boy entrants uh, who have somehow crept in and it's no big deal. Uh, but uh, there's another, there's a chap there. Uh, uh, could it be white? No. No, I'm afraid I'm hopeless at this. Anyway, so. Yeah, I, I, I worked it out that if the five of us pay for a room for one night, the Frank and Glynn theory, yeah. it cost us five. Well, he said so there's really nothing wrong happening. Yeah. Sorry, say it again, Terry. Cost us five what? Sorry, sorry. If we invited uh, yeah. Frank, yeah. Frank Siri yeah. down yeah. for our formal dinner on the Thursday evening, yep. uh, at 
So, so one room uh, would cost like 64 quid, 128 quid for the room. Uh, that would cost each of us. Okay, yeah. The union group 26 quid each. Yeah, yeah. 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 And if we said, Frank's coming, can anybody chip into the hat? We'd have 200 quid in five minutes. Absolutely. Hmm. So I think, I, think we've made, I think the conversation's really drawn to its natural end. We're saying it's also very difficult when we're not going to be reunion. We can talk about it more and we've got everybody else around us uh, because there are a lot of different opinions out there, but they all amount to the same thing. It's, it, it's working as it is. And if it's, if it's not broken, let's not fix it. So let's just carry on doing what we're doing. about the, you, did, let's, so you gave an example of how not to use walls, so when you could opt out, we don't want you to opt out because we want you to bring in on this kind of group. But um, what were you concerned about? No, I'm, you... I'm concerned mainly, Jono, that, um, you, you know, you always need some kind of new blood. I've done it for about six years. Um, I'm more than happy to... Uh, to, to hang on as a, a kind of senior, which yeah. is, I think is what you, you, you kind of all intimated at. Yeah. More than happy to do that. Okay. But I also want to give you guys a chance because there's some new blood there, some great ideas. And you're presumably going to be the MC, Ray. Ray, you're presumably going to be the MC. I thought you were that, uh, Simon. And I no. Was just a dummy. And no, I was just the dummy. We don't have to uh, point anyway, with anybody. Any, any of us can, can take it over. Well, as the end uh, member, no, no, I didn't mean yeah, take yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm empowering, but I mean, no, that you know, you, 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 you and Viv contribute. You've yeah. done things before. So is Trevor. So is Graham. And it's just great to get that kind of uh, the young Turks. Oh, okay. wanted yeah. a better term. Well, to, you mentioned me now. Uh, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Terry, you're, you're a young Turk. You are. Management. What are we called? I can't remember what the hell we are. Yeah. We're not opposing the decision we make on everybody, but we just, I'm sure they would just accept that we have decided, the same like the subscriptions did, and we tell them this is what we agree, and if anybody wants to... We, we did agree one thing, didn't we? We managed to agree that we'll have badges. Who's that? 
Yeah, none of us. Well, I said to him several times, just introduce yourself. He says, oh, I'm just popping in. I'm just seeing what it's all about. And then he vanished. And then he came back again. <laughs> but if you remember, he, he's attended one, one particular reunion. Yeah, he and Brenda attended the first reunion. Yeah, yeah. he lives at Hanford. He lives at Hanford, yards up the road. Brummy Aldridge. Yeah, yeah. Did you notice it at the bottom of the picture? No, I didn't. No, oh, right. No. Um, so uh, it is best that we kind of get together like this. So what, what are we trying to say is what duration? You know, once a month? Well, I, I, I think with the lead up to the reunion, and hopefully that will happen when we all have the jabbing on. Yeah. But I think, I think once a month, personally, I don't know what I'm yeah, just a smaller group, just to get just you know, up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then when we want to put it out to to general everybody, say uh, three months, three four months, months. Yeah. or just before we have the, the reunion, that yeah. we can you know say what the ideas are. And what we it worked do. quite well though, didn't it? You had a pre-Christmas one, a New Year one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not so much every three months or one month, just as occasions that kind of run well. I mean. On the 22nd of January, it's when we join. So that might be a good date to have a... Um... It would be a significant date to say that, you know, here we are on celebrating this day. And we could have one, that's, that's a good idea. And then, but it's something we need, we in the group, like now, need to be more uh, kind of like... Well, I think once a month, like, personally. Totally agree. agree. Totally yeah. agree. Once a month. Once a month should be the executive uh, meeting and as often as makes sense, preferably like Easter and January, you know, maybe yeah. for the group. Okay, uh, I will keep that in mind and I will, uh, you know, notify everybody. They're very good. I think they're very good when uh, the general ones, it's not, I mean, don't speak much and I don't know, but they do seem to like it. They do yeah, yeah, come and it's go. It's fun. It's fun. But we, it is fun. We, we cannot leave that to discuss things. No, we, we we don't get we didn't get any business done yet, <laughs> did we? In, in fairness, no. No, we just want to see who's new or you know, just see how everybody's doing. Yeah. Say hello. That's the main thing. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Graham, and, and, Graham, where are you coming in, man? Yeah, I was just seeing this. I saw Simon actually bringing his wig. Is it? Oh, really? It moved to the left. No, I. I he scratched his head and the whole thing moved. So oh, right. <laughs> those of you who are following the work. Okay, thanks for that. Um, right, so, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll send out a resume to us five. Yeah, yeah. what we talked about we, monthly. And then, and then if, if Simon, through his usual newsletter, info, sheets and whatever, can tell the general membership what we've decided. Is that okay? Yeah, that's great. Okay. Can we can we um, can we take a look at what we might be looking at next time? Uh, in, in terms of what, sorry. Well, with a reunion steaming up, and it, it will it does steam up. Um, there are in order for it to function and work properly, there are a number of people who have to you know get involved in a in a minor way. But it's no good if we don't organise it. Um, so, for example, the one. Th well, a couple of things came out of the last meeting. One was that we'll still have badges. Yeah, we think we know who everybody is, but you heard, um, who was it? Uh, Marchant uh, saying that he wouldn't recognize one of us and, and we certainly wouldn't recognize him. So we're gonna keep on doing the badges just for the moment. And it's very important for the ladies because a lot of people say they don't know the names of ladies. Personally, I think it's a really good idea that we do the badges, so I agree. Because yeah. It's embarrassing when you yeah. somebody says to you, "Hi, Terry," and who yeah. is that? And our memories are not getting any better. No. Our recognition. Another thing, can I come in there? Because uh, Alistair agreed that he would do the badges, so we need to tell him as well. Yeah. And can, can you let Alistair know that yeah. Terry gets one badge and Sharon gets one? It says "Wife Hall." <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Okay. Well, that was just one example because someone's got to run the raffle. 
Someone's got to take the photographs. Someone's got to be there, agree to be there circa two o'clock to greet people uh, because first people who come for the first time, and I believe this time we will see a, a fair number of few new faces, a uh, fair number as in three or four. Um, so there are just a, a checklist of silly little jobs that have to be organized, which basically Ray and I use. Not the wider meeting, and we can say we need some volunteers to run the raffle, we need somebody to do this or that. Yeah. Rather than leave it to us, I mean, we're, Terry and I are doing quiz, we're doing, you know, some entertainment. Trev, Trev, Trev why, why, why don't you and I do the raffle as well? We can do that as well. The trouble is that whoever does the raffle pays for it. So that's the way it's developed. That, the, that John Hale did it last time, and then I think it was um, Terry did it the time before. Sorry? Well, we, can, uh, we can ask for donations. You know, well, yeah, donations come in. That's... Trevor and I can buy okay. something as well. Yeah, yeah all right. Oh, right. Yeah, no, that's, sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll do the Contributions to the raffle might be also a good thing for people. Right. You know, but we will arrange all that. But uh, do you remember that mostly, last time, people brought things to be raffled? Yeah, they just asked for them for... <clears throat> so people came along with a bottle of scotch or people came along with a whatever they thought was a good idea to be raffled. So rather than a contribution, it was a contribution. So, I, so I'll put in all this in the resume of what we're talking about tonight and I'll just ask you to go out and sure. you know, disseminate that info to everybody. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, Three, you want to see? Yeah, about the name tags. I'm against name tags because yep. I don't mind being called Graham, Trev, Terry, Simon at the bar after a few drinks. Yeah. But but you yeah. don't look like Trev. You don't look like enough to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've still got a frigging men bloody badge on there. You know what I mean? Come on. I know. I know. Do you know my entire bar bill? Really? That's not a personal decision. That's why. Okay, so, so Trev, do you want to set a, a date now or you will tell us when the next meeting I'll, is? I'll tell you, yes. I'll ask, I'll ask like I did the last time and see, is everybody free for a new hotel or whatever? Is the time, is the time all right? Yes, yeah, it's good, mate. Simon. Yeah, the time's fine, so long as I can get away by 10 and not get locked up. But that's easy. It's now 9 o'clock, so I've got an hour. And absolutely, the time's absolutely fine. We tend to keep them within the hour, don't we? Um, I do have to apologise. I haven't said hello to Viv, and I have only just noticed her in the background. Vivian, lovely to see you, as always. <laughs> Hi. How lovely it'll be to actually see you in the flesh in a few months' time. So, we're moving along. Thanks for that. And, and just bear in mind, I will send out a dispute to all of us. Okay. Right, so, um, what we're on about Zoom, uh, I'm, I'm very mindful that... Uh, Trevor and Viv pay £80 a year uh, for their account and uh, I think personally that we should, I, I know it's a personal account for family and friends and whatever, but we are using it, you know, I don't know, 12, 15 times a year, I think we should chip in 20 quid a year. Yeah, that, 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 that's, I totally agree with that. That could happen two ways. Uh, it's down, it's not, it, it, it could happen by us uh, simply repaying Viv and Trevor. Or it could happen by the 51st uh, just taking its own because um, there might be other groups who would want to hold things. Uh, I, 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 and I don't know that that would be the case, but you know, we have talked for a long time, many times about having local get togethers and it's never ever happened. Uh, well, just once or twice. You're wrong. Yeah, I, it's not often I'm right. But. Yeah, absolutely right. You're absolutely right. In fact, I went to one of them, so I. Sh but however, I, I just wondered if we had a Zoom, you know, had a had a fifty first Zoom, whether four or five people who aren't even in on this meeting would want to use it, could use it, would want to use it. That is. Well, then, in my view, they would ask Trev, and he would set it up. It just ties Fred Trev. It just ties Trev down. But yeah, you're, you're probably right. They probably wouldn't be able to do it properly anyway. But, but I don't. I don't know about that because what else? Can you think of a reason why other groups need to uh, link up in their own way? Yeah, they we need, talk we about need a, a Zoom master kind of account. I know Graham has one subscribe. Graham, you still have yeah, I'm, I'm the one for the Pointers Association, which is still live and will be live until probably September. Welcome to an end. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, how much do they, okay, they pay you for running it? Yeah, I get expenses for running yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can pay for the subscription. Total expenses, you mean like you get covered the subscription for license? I get 40, 40 pounds, 38 pence a month for the license. Yeah. Does anybody else use it? Not, not at the moment because the association is finished, Trevor, totally. but that's where my idea came that you shouldn't have to pay all that money. Um, in the, asso the association used to pay um, uh, Graham's uh, um, yeah. account, and I'm so what I'm saying is I appreciate it's your own private account, but I just think we should chip in because we're using it as well. And if, um, yeah, well, you know, um, we can sort that out at the review. Okay. Uh, whatever. Yeah, don't go definitely. I mean, I don't mind it saying that subscription goes for the funding. You know, for the yeah. saying that 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 will be the components <coughs> that I make towards the uh, the budget. Okay. And okay. Have, have you cleared this with Bev? Uh, <laughs> we we did we. Uh, I was unanimous in that. Uh, come on, you're shuffling, Trev. Come on, you're shuffling. Shuffling, yeah. So. So plan A is that we simply toss some dosh, because we've just said we're going to have 12, 20 of these things. We toss some dosh at uh, uh, Trevor, basically pay Trevor and Vibs. Or well, plan B is that Trevor or Graham or somebody sets up a 51st and we say to people, if you ever want to have a group meeting with all the Scots boys, for example, who are a bit... You know they are a bit sort of feeling out of it up there. Then you can use the fifty-first one to have your own uh, mini meeting. But um, I don't even know. But, but that, that, can, can we? Sorry. Can we just leave it then? That I will okay. remind everybody at the reunion that we are in twenty quid for the okay. Okay. Yep. Simon, I was a bit concerned you didn't get Trevor's last email address. And I'm just wondering, mate, um, do you want to give us another one apart from Harbour Info at Harbour House? Well, oh, Info at Harbour, did you send it, Trevor, to Info at Harbour House? I mean, it's everybody else had it. And then I mean, I possibly did. I possibly did. It's just that over the Christmas and New Year period, when I was in England, I, I when I, I took a few days off, and when I came back, I had 580 emails. So the probability is that it's simply buried in there. I don't think we've had any... No, but when you say you didn't get it, it means a different thing, that you didn't receive it, but maybe you didn't see it. Yes, there are three possibilities. One is I didn't see it. Two is it went into spam, though I can't see why it would have done. And three is that for whatever reason I didn't get it. But I, I think I'm inclined to believe that it's buried in 580. But I then, of course, saw the flood of um, responses to you. And did you get one from me, by the way? Yes, I did. Yeah, okay, fine. So there we go. I, I, if it happens again, I will just use a different one altogether. But um, uh, Simon, all, all I'm saying is, I, I mean, I, I really want you to get these emails. I think, well, we all do. Yeah. Is there a better email that we can send to you that only you will see? And not? Okay, I'll um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll I'll provide a personal, you know, Simon Harris email rather than a uh, company one. Uh, somebody's mentioned that before now, haven't they? Who the hell's Harbour House? Uh, so okay, I'll um, I'll provide a personal one, which I'll make sure comes through to my various my phones and it doesn't get flooded by other stuff. <clears throat> me. Uh, I know Trev wants to say something about a cider factory or something. I'm, I'm, yeah, what, what, I, what, any, what anybody else I was looking into when we had the uh, get together, the reunion, if, if we have COVID happens, that we look into some activities. Yep, brilliant. One was a visit to a cider making. Uh, I love that idea. Or there was also a beer house in Harrisburg which takes real ale tasting and cider tasting. So uh, uh, we've all agreed we'll look into some activities like that. Yeah, brilliant. It could also be maybe an, an, evening, an evening other than spent in, in house is going out with a group for everybody to uh, enjoy something as an outing rather than spending a meal, you know, inside. Yeah, we need a mini bus then. Yeah. 
we yeah. probably will be the scope to... the scope for that is what the Wednesday night when we arrive or the yeah. Friday night after well, we, we, we will need the uh, main night for our dinner yeah so the night before and then we go there and we can all enjoy you know because otherwise you're hanging around the bar all yeah all afternoon we've got some activities and generally on the morning of the night we have the dinner maybe there's a golf outing or whatever and uh, we can recover on the final night. Good, old, good old idea. That sounds a good sort of uh, excellent idea, activity yeah, related very good. time. Okay, good we've idea. got about five minutes left before the football. Yeah. Football. Oh, by the way, Kerry was telling me about a, a team called West Ham. <coughs> Have you heard of them? I, I don't know. I think they're basketball, or they could be. Uh, <coughs> could be a women's team. Yeah. Uh, anyway, any other business? <laughs> any other business, Simon? No, that's it. That's it from me. Okay. No, thank you, Terry. Well done. Graham? Have you found your wallet yet, Jerry? It's full up, mate. I can't find it, but it's full up. <laughs> Have you got anything sensible to say? Yeah. Stay safe. And you, mate. And you. Trevor? Oh. oh. Just one thing. Uh, although Graham is the youngest in age, I look the youngest physically. Yes. <laughs> there is an act over it because Ray and I share a birthday and we've never quite bottomed out who was born first on that day. You said that. Happy brothers. Yeah, well, I thought you were. I thought I was the youngest. But you know what? I think it should be the one with the most hair. Oh, oh, stop it, Terry. You'll get your top. <laughs> <coughs> the eldest then. Thank you, McNulty. <laughs> so I think that the two million budget that we have, I should hold it because I look the youngest. <laughs> allegedly. 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 Right, okay. That's all I have. So, Terry, you've got the final say. No. You've got three minutes. I don't care. It's on record. It's only stop, Paul. Of course we're going to win. <laughs> you know, it's that great, great meeting. I'll Something together and uh, send it out to you all. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Okay, great to see you all. Really? Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Cheerio for now. Toodle pip.